Hello GNAC fans, I'm Blake Tibb, and welcome to another edition of GNAC Top Plays. The weather could not have been better for the GNAC's 11 teams at the 2016 GNAC Cross Country Championships last Saturday at Bellingham's Lake Patton Park. But while some of the faces at the front of the pack had changed, the result was much the same for Alaska Anchorage. In the men's race, the Seawolves placed all five scoring runners in the top 15 to win its seventh consecutive GNAC title with 31 points. But this year, it was junior Edwin Kangogo leading the way, collecting his first conference title as he finished the 8,000 meter race in 24 minutes, 54 seconds. In the women's race, junior Caroline Gergot emerged from a close race to win her first individual conference crown, covering the 6,000 meters in 21 minutes, 17 seconds. The Seawolves repeated as team champions with 45 points and earned their seventh trophy in the last eight years. The 11 teams will meet again next Saturday in Billings for the NCAA West Region Championships. Azusa Pacific Football got defensive when it faced Simon Fraser last Saturday. Howard Samura with the call. Here's Richardson. He is going to get picked off at number 25, making the interception there and finding some open space down the field across the 50. Down to the Clan 30 and still going down Good the go, sidelines. Howie. He is going to take it all the way back. The pass to the sidelines has a man, but it's picked off again. The third interception of the half. And this one is going to go right down the field for six. Tyree Davis, number seven. And he steps back, looks downfield, has a man behind him, and another pick, the fourth pick of the half. And Nick. It's happening again. It's the it's the third pick six. The Cougars defense scored all four first half touchdowns and are out to a 57-0 shutout of the clan. On Burnaby Mountain, Mindus Christensen channels his inner karate kid off of Adam Jones' corner kick to open scoring in the 23rd minute to play his men's soccer match against St. Martin's. Later in the half, Jones and Mamadi Kamara show off some excellent passing ability with Kamara finishing the shot to the far post. Jones with two goals and two assists, and Kamara had two goals in the 5 nothing route of the Saints. Montana State Billings' Julian Dragomir using his head against Concordia Thursday, going top shelf to bury Oliver Passarelli's long lob in the 65th minute of the Yellow Jackets' 4-1 win over the Cavaliers. Two days later, the Yellow Jackets' J.D. Howenstein makes some room and finds Zikola Schregel in the middle of the box. He stops, hesitates, and finds the far corner of the net in the 50th minute. The goal was all Billings needed for the 1-0 victory over the Falcons. Western Washington men's soccer hosting St. Martins, and Jeremiah Lee makes the most of open space. His long shot off Anthony Dean's assist was the middle goal of the 3-0 victory over the Saints. The number one ranked Vikings women's soccer team hosting Central Washington. In the 70th minute, Caitlin Jobanek is successful in defeating the defender and then lofts uh, Mariah Rogo for the header. The goal gave the Vikings a 3-1 lead. Later in the half, Elise Aylward is in the right place at the right time, intercepting the Wildcats' clearing attempt and catching the keeper out of her goal for the easy strike. The Vikings roll on to a 4-1 victory. Simon Fraser women's soccer hosting Concordia and super freshman Emma Pringle does it again. This time, she chipped in off of Caitlin Earhartson's assist in the 85th minute. Clan kept their GNAC championships hopes alive for the 1-0 victory, Pringle scoring her fifth game winner of the season. Finally on GNAC top plays, Western Washington and Alaska Anchorage went right down to the wire in an epic five-set volleyball battle. Rontia McCann and Katina Ozrelik with the call. Buckner's serve goes to Jim over. It's going to go over. is their first game since August 26th. The Vikings end Anchorage's 20-match win streak and run their record at the Alaska Airlines Center to 6-0. That's it for GNAC Top Plays. I'm Blake Tipp. We'll see you next time.